stories or songs about the moon? I'm sure you probably do. And I wonder if you ever look up at the moon shining in the night sky and think you can almost see the face of the man in the moon. Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. Today's episode is an old tale from China about the moon himself and how people think his face changed in one single night. Remember, you can always download some colouring sheets to go along with our weekly episodes. If you go to www.journeywithstory.com, you can download them today. And thanks to all of you who have been reading, reviewing and sharing this podcast with others. Now, let's take a journey with How the Moon Became Beautiful. The moon is very beautiful, with his round, bright face, which shines with soft and gentle light on all the world of men. But once there was a time when he was not so beautiful as he is now. Six thousand years ago, the face of the moon became changed in a single night. Before that time, his face had been so dark and gloomy that no one liked to look at him. And for this reason, he was always very sad. One day he complained to the flowers and to the stars, for they were the only things that would ever look in his face. He said, I do not like to be the moon. I wish I were a star or a flower. If I were a star, even the smallest one, some great general would kill for me. But, alas, I am only the moon, and no one likes me. If I could only be a flower, and grow in a garden where the beautiful earth women come, they would place me in their hair and praise my fragrance and beauty. Or if I could even grow in the wilderness where no one could see, The birds would surely come and sing sweet songs for me. But I am only the moon, and no one honours me. The stars answered and said, We cannot help you. We were born here, and we cannot leave our places. We never had anyone to help us. We do our duty. We work all the day and twinkle in the dark night to make the skies more beautiful. But that is all we can do, they added, as they smiled coldly at the sorrowful moon. Then the flowers smiled sweetly and said, We do not know how we can help you. We live always in one place, in a garden, near the most beautiful maiden in all the world. And she is kind to everyone in trouble. We will tell her about you. We love her very much, and she loves us. Her name is Sinio. Still, the moon was sad. So one evening, he went to see the beautiful maiden, Sinio. And when he saw her, he loved her at once. He said, Your face is very beautiful. I wish that you would come to me and that my face would be as your face. Your emotions are gentle and full of grace. Come with me and we will be as one and perfect. I know that even the worst people in all the world would have only to look at you and they would love you. Tell me, how did you become so beautiful? 
once lived with those who were gentle and happy, and I believe that is the cause of beauty and goodness, answered Si Neo. And so the moon went every night to see the maiden. He knocked on her window, and she came. And when he saw how gentle and beautiful she was, his love grew stronger, and he wished more and more to be with her always. One day, Saint Neil said to her mother, I should like to go to the moon and live always with him. Will you allow me to go? Her mother thought so little of the question that she made no reply, and Saint Neil told her friends that she was going to be the moon's bride. In a few days, she was gone. Her mother searched everywhere but could not find her. And one of Tse Neil's friends said, She has gone with the moon, for he asked her many times. A year and another year passed by, and Tse Neil, the gentle and beautiful earth maiden, did not return. Then the people said, She has gone forever. She is with the moon. The face of the moon is very beautiful now. It is happy and bright and gives a soft, gentle light to all the world. And there are those who say that the moon is now like Si Neil, who was once the most beautiful of all earth maidens. Oh, so happy for the moon and say Neil, but I'm a little sad for her mum that she must miss her lovely daughter. But then that is the way of so many good stories, isn't it? They can be both sad and happy at the same time. But then again, that's life too, isn't it? It can be both sad and happy at the same time. I wonder, could that be this story's souvenir? Or do you think this souvenir is more about beauty and goodness coming from being with people who are gentle and happy, as C. Neil said? Maybe you could share your thoughts with your friends or your mum and dad. And if this story inspired any pictures, do get drawing and send them to us. Our last story last month was about the buried moon. And that was a moon that was a female moon. And this story is about a moon that is a man moon. I wonder, how do you see the moon? Send us your drawings so we can share them with others. And remember to rate, review and share this podcast with others. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story. Music and post-production was by Colette Jonas.